Welcome back to Inside Marquette Basketball. During finals week in December, the Golden Eagles had a 10-day layoff between games. Before returning to the court in Fiserv Forum, the team held a simulated game inside Caspin Gym and gave us a behind-the-scenes look at what goes into a practice. He got screen, right? You just got to call a switch and stay with him. Let's go. Put yourself in the game right now. Put yourself in the game. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. You are getting in the paint, jump stopping, hitting Marcus for a three. Be sharp. Here we go. Good. Keep your feet, Sam. Don't run through your pass. Obviously, we had this 10-day break between games. Uh, it was good for our guys to get in. You know, they've been in finals, so it was good to get them in with some referees, get some game action where they're actually getting up and down. Hand over the top. Even when he's dribbling. Today, we were able to, to get up and down a lot and make it more of a scrimmage situation because we don't have a game this week, so we wanted to create a game like day. Hey, drive him out, Joey. Yeah, I think right now we're trying to ramp him back up. It's important that obviously we finish finals and we, and we focus on our academics. Now that that's over, we want to get back to our routine. So we want to try to hit their system, shock their bodies a little bit, but get them thinking about competing. We had played so many games through November and obviously early December where sometimes you're doing so much preparing in practice, you, you kind of get away from you know your core fundamental things. So it was good to get back to where we're just working on us. You know, Marquette's working on Marquette every single day. Yo guys, work on your game. Work on your game. Get better. Anytime you come in the gym, you know, we expect a certain amount of intensity from our guys and we want to be consistent with that. Go ahead, them. find them. Good. It's our job to amp up the competitive nature within our guys, but we're never competing against each other, we're competing with each other. We gotta be aggressive in our ices, and you guys gotta help in the call out. All right, we're running regular one. We're going punch the Theo. Okay, listen to me, I want, uh, Gert G, I want you here. You two guys, best thing you guys do, advance pass, attack the rim. And we're gonna go five flat, high ball screen. Everybody got it, okay, let's go. Let's go, boot. Keep, keep defending. Let's play fast, come on. It's been really good. I mean, I think it's been really competitive. I mean, we have a lot of versatile guys, and the biggest thing we're trying to do right now is just build their confidence. We're just looking at different lineups. You got guys who start, guys who come off the bench. You got different lineups in, in, in different situations. Go! Run, Joey! Corner, Joey! Corner! Slot, Brandon! Slot, Brandon! Slot! We played a 12-minute scrimmage where we kept flipping and flopping the lineups, and then we did some special situation stuff to see may, may, a guy may be in foul trouble or you know, one of our key guys may not be able to be in the game, uh, whether it be they fouled out or whatever. So we're just constantly looking for different lineups to, to see how they play together. Rebound! We play different styles. Obviously, when Marcus is on the ball, we're one way. When he's off the ball, we're another. Yeah, shoot it. There you go. So we're trying to adjust to that and, and kind of plug and play different guys. You know, if you think back to the Wisconsin game, you saw a guy like Ed Moore who didn't start the game, but had a huge emphasis on us winning that basketball game. So everybody has to be ready. Next man up. One guy goes down, next guy's got to step up and be ready to play. Come on, Theo. Good job, Ed. Ed's had a good day. And some of our younger guys, we need to get them some reps. Um, I think that's what we tried to do today in practice. I thought it worked pretty well. Good finish, Brennan. Next play. And I thought they really took advantage of their opportunity out here when we're competing on the practice floor. And you hope that carries over when we get out there to the game. Hey, good offense, Mike. I like it. As time's gone on, man, they keep improving each and every day. And today it's showing you that they had really good practices. They played at a good pace. They had good energy. Good. Good, Matt. The way we practice, it doesn't matter who we're playing. There's a standard that we try to live up to. It's our standard. It's, it's no one else's. Uh, our schedule already has been brutal. We've played one of the better schedules in the country with the teams that we've played. So nothing changes. You know, that's the message to our guys. We have to be the same team every night, every day, regardless who we're playing. That's the kind of culture we try to, to create. I think our guys are really growing as a team and they're starting to come together and that's what you want as the year goes on. You don't want to peak too early. You want to grow and you want to get better week by week, month by month. And I think our guys are really starting to do that. Go ahead, one! Good job, Good! Good! Good. Brett Nelson talked about how important it was for Marquette to work on Marquette. So what are the challenges in balancing improvement versus scouting? Well, it's huge. And, and I, re I rely a lot on my uh, associate head coaches and assistant coaches and staff to help me come up with a plan that makes the most sense for our team at, the, at that given time. And also where we'll get the most out of the work that we're putting in. You know, you, you don't want to make mistake activity for achievement and so in order to do that there's a team effort that goes into the planning and, and my assistants do a great job of of helping me make sure 
that our team is best positioned to have a great practice, great preparation, which should hopefully lead to great performance.